we came here, Ohio State hired myself and Dr. Henyon, and there was no fish facility, so they actually converted, um, these were classrooms, and they converted them into fish facility for us. So it was an investment that the university and the Department of Neuroscience and the Center for Molecular Biology made to enable us to come here and do our research. And we also have a nursery over here where we actually raise zebrafish and we look at development of different parts, mostly of the nervous system and also some disease. So we model diseases in zebrafish, and specifically motor neuron diseases. Fish spawn on a light dark cycle. So when the lights go on in the facility at 8.15 in the morning, the fish are stimulated to spawn just like they do in the wild. We take out this gate so the male and females can get together. They spawn and then they're their eggs, the fertilized eggs, will fall down here. There's slats in this insert, and they'll fall down here, and then we can put the adults back in their tank and collect the embryos. What's nice is that the fish develop very rapidly. So the nervous system develops within the first few days. The heart beats after about 30 hours. Blood can circulate, and we can see that all under the microscope because these early embryos and larvae are, are transparent. So just within that short time frame, the organ systems have developed, allowing us to study that process in real time. He's injecting RNA into these embryos to try to overexpress a certain RNA that's going to make a certain protein. And he's going to ask what that does to the development of the nervous system. And he's working on a model of um, ALS, which is Lou Gehrig's disease. So this is a disease that's 80% of the time fatal, five years after diagnosis. It's caused by the motor neurons failing to innervate and talk to the muscle. And what he's doing is trying to manipulate genes to try to ask what causes the motor neurons to die. And then we can start looking at different drugs and compounds that keep those motor neurons from dying. We determined that if these fish do have a motor neuron disease, they should be weak and not be able to swim as well as fish that we haven't caused this disease in. So what Allie's doing is actually testing the strength of these fish. So we have the pump down here and the water flows up through the tubing, and I can adjust the current right here. And the water just flows along, and the fish just swims against the current, and we keep increasing the current until the fish fatigues. So essentially, it's like a little fish treadmill. <laughs> so we really think the power of zebrafish is this combination of early development, being able to access that early development, being able to see through the embryos, to visualize these proteins, to ask these questions about how things develop in the embryo, and if you manipulate things, can you understand what controls that development?